Hi boys and girls. I hope you are all keeping safe at home. Welcome to your very first online English lesson. Today we will focus on the reading process paying special attention to how we make predictions. Let's get started. Take a look at this picture. What kind of weather do you think is coming? Why do you think so? When we make a guess based on clues, we are making a prediction. We do this so we can better understand the text without depending too much on the words. A meteorologist tries to predict or tell what the weather is going to be like. When he does this, he is making a prediction. We too can make predictions. Look at this picture for example. What is the lady probably going to do after her basket is filled with groceries and everything else she needs? You are right. She will pay for her groceries and then take them home. But how do you know that? Well, you have probably been to a supermarket to shop before. And you know that when your trolley is full, you pay for your goods and take it home. That is one way to make a prediction. Using your own life experiences can help you make predictions about a text. Now look at this picture and make a prediction. When would you drink this cup of coffee? You can't really be wrong when you make a prediction, but your prediction has to make sense. If I ask what would happen if you tried to drink this coffee while it is still hot and you said you would probably burn your mouth, that makes sense. But if you predicted that the coffee would turn to gold, and the coffee beans would start singing, then that's not a good prediction because it's not very likely to happen. We can make predictions when we read too. This helps us become better readers. Remember, you can use your life experiences to make a prediction, but you can also look at a character and think about what you already know about them to make a prediction. Take the big bad wolf for example. You might know that he is a bad character. So you might predict that he'd do something that's not so nice, like eat a pig. Or you might look at what he has done already. When the big bad wolf went to the first of the pig's house, he huffed, he puffed, and then he blew it down. Then he went to the second little pig's house. He huffed, he puffed, and then he blew it down. So what would you predict he would do when he goes to the third little pig's house? Yes, he would probably huff, puff and blow the house down. We can also find clues in the text or words and illustration or pictures to make a prediction. Look at these children. What do you think they are going to do next? That's right, they are going on a hike because they have on hiking clothes, backpacks and walking sticks. The clues in the picture gave us a pretty good idea of what the children will be doing. Let's make another prediction, this time from a story. Kian, come get in the car, said Mum. It's time to go. Dad is already waiting. I can't find my towel, screamed Kian. I have your towel in the bag. Just get your sandals and let's go. It's a beautiful day and we do not want to waste it. Kian ran quickly to the car and jumped in the back seat. It was going to be a long drive, but he was excited to play in the cool water. Making predictions in a story is useful, but did you know that it is okay to sometimes change your prediction? Let's keep reading. The boot was filled with everything they needed for their trip. Dad's fishing rod and tackle box were rattling in the back. Kian rested his arm on his sleeping bag. Now what do you think will happen next? At first, we thought Kian was going to the beach, but now we've got even more clues with words like fishing rods and sleeping bags. So maybe we can predict they are going camping. Let's find out what happened next. The family was off on their vacation. The two-hour drive would soon come to an end and the camping fun could begin. Sometimes our predictions are right, and sometimes they're not. Remember, it's okay if you're not right, as long as your prediction makes sense. Let's review. A prediction is a guess based on clues. 
There are many kinds of helpful clues in the story, such as our life experiences, character behavior, and details in the text. Boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson on predictions. I hope you enjoyed it. I predict that you are going to read a book today and try out some predicting of your own. Keep safe and look out for our next lesson.